Olivia. Welcome to Houses Sleeping People. Hey everyone, I'm here in Austin, Texas today with one of our top real estate investors, Buddy. Please come on in. So nice to see you. you too. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, do you mind stepping in my office? And I'd love to go over this amazing deal that you have here in Austin. Sounds great. Awesome. Wow, this is super excited. Yeah, it's great. Beautiful day. Okay, so how long have you been an investor? I have been an investor since 2009, but it took me a while to get my first deal. And so it was 2012 before I actually did my first deal. Okay, and uh, so since then, how many deals have you done so far? I've probably done somewhere between 100 and... 30 to 150 deals. Wow, that is amazing. And um, and I love to go over the numbers on this particular project, but I do want to hold on. I'd like to know about you a little bit more. So you've been an investor for how many years now? I, that? I've been a full-time investor actually since 2015 when I left my corporate job. Wow, okay, and what were you doing then? Uh, for 22 years, I worked for State Farm Insurance. I was a claim rep and an underwriter and I ended up as a corporate trainer for all the claim reps. And how did you became, how did you end up here? Well, number one, I love houses and I love helping people. And this really married both of those together because we go in and help sellers take care of a problem, the people that, that need to get out of their house. And we take that and, and we actually make it beautiful. And like at the end of this project, you won't believe what these houses will look like. So when you became an investor then, did you came in more for the money? Did you came in because you want to change your career? What was your vision before, like when you started, when you became an investor back then? Well, I, I kind of wanted to be my own boss was part of it because I'd worked in corporate, you know, corporate America for 22 years. And this helped me be a lot more flexible and actually it's helped me make a lot more money. And, um, and do you have any family member with you right now that works with you? I don't have anybody that works directly. My wife does invest passively with me, but she's got her own corporate job and she likes doing what she's doing. Okay, awesome. And uh, so when you became an investor, did you have any training? Did you know what you're looking for? Did you, you know, today you looks like you have everything ready to go, uh, the whole crew. But back in the day, did you, when you started, what did you have? Did you have experience or how did you actually make the decision? Like I wanted to become an investor. Well, I had some of the experiences. I know how to estimate houses and to put them back together and to build them, but I didn't have the other knowledge of how to find them, how to fund them and, how, and who all to use. And that's where Phil and Shinoa stepped in that I've known them since 2009 and they actually helped me build my business. And uh, wow, 2009. So Phil and Shinoa, for people who doesn't know who they are, they are the founder of Texas Ria. Uh, and they've been here for 18 plus year now doing mm -hmm. real estate here in Texas. So uh, so when you came in with Phil and Shanoa, did you knew anything about real estate? Like all the things that you just mentioned, did you see yourself being who you are today and going to, you know, even doing more deals? Uh, well, you know, I actually I did. I wanted to do this. I love houses and I love helping people. And I wanted to do more than I was doing back at my other job. So I actually pursued that and had Phil and Chanel mentor me for, for a year, many years ago. And okay. that started my, uh, after I did the three day live event and all that really propelled me into where I am today. And do you remember what was your aha moment at that, at that point? I think the biggest aha moment is that you have to get the knowledge and training and you have to take action. If you don't take action, you're just still sitting on the couch. And it's very easy to be sitting on the couch. It's, it's very comfortable and people like, oh, I'm going to do it and don't take action. Mm -hmm. And there, you know, time goes by and you can never buy time back. Um, for anyone that is watching us that wants to become a real estate investor, what do you recommend? Well, number one, get training. You, you need to really understand what you're doing and how you're gonna do, do that. And then you need to take action by, typically we say partner with people, partner with somebody like me or Phil or Shannon or you, Olivia, people that already have that experience. So you can do that without re really risking a lot of 
money or, or time and effort. Because when some people are scared to become an investor mm -hmm. because they don't have the knowledge, they don't have the network, they don't have the power team. And if you do have all those things, what are the chances that you're actually going to lose money? So it's much less because yeah. you have the whole power team that, you know, that will grow with you. Uh, on this particular deal, what did you pay for? We paid $450,000 for this house and lot. And then uh, what is the renovation? The renovation actually for both of them is going to be approximately between five and six hundred thousand dollars. And what are the profit that we're talking about on this? Profit house? should be on this deal between two to three hundred thousand dollars for both houses. For both houses. So in total. On your corporation job, how long did it take you to make three hundred K on one deal? Over three years. Wow. And uh, how many deals do you have going on right now? We've got a project, uh, approximately 10 projects going on right now. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. So 2022 is definitely going to be another amazing year for you. Everyone on this show has one thing in common. They learn how to invest in real estate from Texas Real Estate Investor Association's Texas REITs. Whether you want to flip houses, quit your job, build your wealth, discover high return investment opportunities, or even learn how to buy rental properties, even with no money, you owe it to yourself to come check it out by attending a free local meeting. It's fun. It's free. You'll learn a lot. New people are always welcome. Click on the link below and we'll see you there. So buddy, uh, I am going to play a little video uh, about this property and I would love for you to tell us a little bit about the neighborhood. So let me just start playing the video right now. Okay. All right, well this neighborhood is uh, located right near downtown. We're less than two and a half miles from it. So we got great restaurants. We got so many things to do. The parks are really close and it's just a lot of fun. This is just such a great area. Wow, and the water, so we are about two and a half miles from downtown. What else that is closed on this neighborhood? Well, we've got a lot of restaurants that are right around here. There's uh, Franklin's Barbecue is really not too far away. There's Hoover's and there's uh, several others right along the Seventh Street corridor that's right down from us. Okay, and uh, why would this neighborhood be interesting for an investor? I think just the location that it really gives a lot of fun family things or for even the millennial or the others who are just looking for a place that's close to downtown to all the action. And uh, so we're about two miles. So uh, what are the ways that they can have access to downtown? Do they can Uber, they can ride their bike? What are the things that they can actually get them to downtown from this location? Well, this area is very walkable and it has so many bike lanes. They can do Uber, they can do Lyft, they can do bikes, they can do scooters. There's wow. a lot of, lot of little things, a lot of ways to get around here. Wow, this is amazing. So I'm super excited uh, to get to know a little bit about this project that you have going on here. So I really appreciate you sharing that information with us. Um, buddy, I would like to play the video right now of the house itself and, a lot, and I know it's on the renovation. And uh, so, but I'd love to see what are you doing and what is your plan when you do finish this project. So let me just start the video on this house. All right. Olivia, as you can see, this is a beautiful 1920s house. We picked up with one of our partners that came to us with the lead and we helped close this. And you can see going into it, it's got great high ceilings, but it's also in the stage of just being torn apart. You can see going through this area, this is gonna be a formal dining room. And then this area goes to the kitchen and that kitchen area is gonna have a great island great kitchen seating for breakfast and other other fun things like that that you want to do with the family in the morning. Okay, awesome. And uh, did you already pick all the appliance and everything off the part? No, we usually wait till later and come in because our designer, like going in here to the formal living room, living area is going to have doors to the outside. And you can see how this old construction was made. You can also see some of the issues that we get. This is termite damage. Wow. Termites are going to be in every house that you get in Texas. It's not really something to worry about. It's just something to take care of when you find it. But that's because you're comfortable with and you know how to work with it. Absolutely. Because it can be a dealer kill for a lot of other people. So, okay. It could be. And you can see here, we've got the uh, front bedroom and you can love these high ceilings. These are nine foot ceilings throughout the house. Part of it is 10 and 11 also. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. 
Well, this is another downstairs bedroom that's gonna have a closet in the back. This ceilings are a little lower than this one. They are down to the uh, normal eight foot that you see in most houses because above it, we're gonna have a master bedroom. And here you can see where we've got the, the bathroom downstairs. It is gonna be a full bath, but it does have a little bit of issues as you come and zoom in here. You can see that this tub has been leaking for a while and there's a lot of rot that we have to replace underneath. Okay, so some plumbing issues there as well. Yeah, so let's take a trip upstairs to the master bedroom. This is what's gonna really wow the people who buy this house because it's got a lot of great features. And the features do include, you know, you're gonna have a walk-in closet. So we see the main bedroom, we've got nine foot ceilings and you can see our contractors are up here too. Yeah. They're still working, they're going at it. And that's gonna be a, uh, the master bedroom closet with a door that has access to the attic. And then Ooh. in that area, we're gonna have the, the bathroom and then this is the main feature of this house that they're gonna really like. We are going to have a balcony out here. And as you can see, we've got a great view of downtown. You can see how close we are to it, less than two and a half miles away from it. Wow. Okay, that is awesome. That is exciting. Okay. And I believe we're going downstairs again. Yeah, we're gonna go downstairs because here's another exciting thing about this. We actually add a house to the back. If you look over here, we're currently digging out the foundation footings and we're gonna put another house that's called an auxiliary dwelling unit in the back of this house and make it a, a beautiful modern one as opposed to the one we've got, uh, we just went through, which is gonna be more of a craftsman style. And how many bedrooms is that one is going to be? The one in back is gonna be a two bed, two, ba uh, two and a half bath. Okay, all right. And the main one that we just saw is it is? It's three bed, two bath. Okay. And uh, all right, I see the plant over here. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, you can see that this is gonna be the auxiliary dwelling unit. It's gonna have a very modern appearance. While the front house next to it is gonna be more of the craftsman. And, but it does, both of them have the fantastic down, downtown views. That is cool. Well, uh, I love it. I think it's gonna be beautiful. So how long do you think it's going to be for you to finish this renovation? From now, it's gonna be about six months. And how long, how many months have you started this project? We've had this project now for about a year and uh, three months. Okay, so you've been doing the renovation for one year and three months? No, actually it takes a lot more to get to a renovation than that. It takes going through permitting process with the city of Austin. And how long did that take? That has taken us about a, a year, a little bit more. Wow. How many weeks or how many months have you actually started the project itself? As far as which part of it? The renovation. The renovation, we're only into two weeks right now. So two weeks. So all the other time it was just getting the permitting and getting the, all the, the approved from the city. Right. To go through permitting and get everything ready where you can break ground takes quite a bit with the city of Austin because they have some really tough rules and regulations that you have to go through. Okay. So for anyone that doesn't want to work here in Austin, this is one of the things that you, it's gonna take you longer to go through the process, get all the permitting than actually doing the renovation itself. It, it actually does. Wow, that is incredible uh, to know that. Uh, so tell me a little bit more. Do you know how did you guys found this deal? We found this deal through one of our partners in the network. They found the lead and then they brought me in so that I could help them close the lead close the deal, get funding, and find the contractors. Okay, and uh, so when he brought in this lead, uh, so was not it, uh, not even under contract yet, is that something that you helping him close? Yes, we do that all the time. I help people put it under contract, talk to the whoever's selling it, and make sure that we are uh, helping the people out as much as we can while making it a good deal for us also. Okay. Would you like to be a real estate investor in Texas? Come to one of our free local meetings to get access to free training, wholesale properties, capital, and power teams. Click on the link below to find a meeting near you and register for free. Uh, through COVID, did you think slow down for you too much? Because, you know, we're going through still a lot of people complain there's not enough deals. We're back in ordering material, but it sounds like you are full speed on it. 10 projects going on. Do you feel like, uh, you know, the COVID through everything, it hold you back a little bit? COVID didn't slow us down much. We, we gained projects every year and we keep moving it up and up and up. And we're actually scaling right now. What do you mean scaling? We are, we are looking for, we uh, brought on more business partners. Uh, we're doing more marketing 
and and bringing on uh, more people to help us. I just uh, hired a project manager and a new marketing guy. So we're actually scaling up so that we'll have more projects and help more people and make more money. How many deals do you want it to be running full time moving forward? We probably want to be running 20 to 25 deals at a time. I mean, wow. to keep that on and probably 30 to 40 a year or so. Wow. That is a full time job by itself right there. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. OK, well, I appreciate it. Uh, you spend the time and being here with us uh, and sharing this amazing experience. Uh, so one of the things that, you know, for people back home uh, with this particular house, what was the challenge or what are the challenges that you're going with it, that you're learning from it? Well, the challenge is, luckily, I've been doing this for many years and I've done a lot of rehabs and new builds. But the challenges you run into is what's, what's going to happen with this house when you open it up. On this house, we have foundation issues. We have all new plumbing. We had to do all new electrical, we all new AC. We're gonna be doing all new siding, uh, uh, so much different things. And we had to get architects, engineers, and a lot of contractors involved on this one. There we go. So that's a lot of answers. So when you see some of this issue comes in, does it scare you? They're like, okay, here we go. Uh, or do you like, oh yeah, this is part of the, the process. We already budget. We were expecting something like this to happen. And if it doesn't happen, of course, it's a plus. But does it scare you when you see all these issues come, come, coming in at you? Well, Olivia, you're always going to have something that comes in and pops, it, pops up that's not going to be good. That's going to be something you might have missed. But we do a very thorough inspection ahead of time to know what our cost should be and what are the main issues that we're seeing on these houses. We'll get engineers, plumbers, the people we need to get in to do our due diligence on it. So if, when the surprise, when you break a wall or something comes in, you're like, oh yeah, well, it's already part of our budget, so let's just get it done. Yeah, it, it will be close enough. We, we have a little fudge factor in our budget to help with that. Yeah. Okay, that was, that's good to know. And the reason I'm asking or you know, going over this, for people who are sitting at home, mm -hmm. what are the things that they need to look for if they do decide to do a renovation themselves? Well, number one, they need to look for somebody, a partner who knows how to do this first. Now, if you know how to do this, then you're gonna go and do the, your normal inspection on the house from foundation, walls, to the roof. Every, every part of it you need to look at. But, you know, I wanna make sure, is it easy to find a partner like Buddy? I can tell you guys, we have more than 3,000 plus inside our private network inside Texas Bria. And Buddy's mm -hmm. one of our, you know, number one investor here that everybody wants to partner with Buddy because they believe you have all the answers because you've been through <laughs> all of them and you're not scared to get the job done. Uh, so when you came into this particular house, how did you end up in deciding to build that one in the back? Well, we always do five different scenarios on every house, what we're going to do. Are we gonna rehab it? Are we going to knock it down and build it new? Are we gonna rehab it and put a new one in the back? Or are we going to just scrape the lot and sell the lot off? I mean, there's a lot of things we look at. We just look to see which scenario makes us the most money for the time that, and effort we're gonna spend. And how long did it took you to be this confident and to have all this scenario and go over of them like, this is the way, this is the one that we're going to use for this particular one. How many years for you to be like, I got this? It, you know, it probably took me, and I was lucky I got a business partner very early in, in my, my real estate investment career, a great business partner that he does all our marketing and those things. So by using both our heads, it probably took us probably a couple of years to get really comfortable with it, where we knew that, hey, this deal's going to make money. And since we are conservative, we don't do deals that, uh, that don't make sense that the number doesn't match. Right. The, yeah, you, you can't keep numbers in the sky. You gotta follow the numbers, there's right. a lot of them. So I, I love, and I, you know, the other partner that did brought you to this deal, um, why did he bring you in? Well, he brought me in because, for two reasons. One, that I've coached him in the past, and two, he knows that I am, me and my business partner, John, are one of the few people that can do new builds and rehabs at the same time. There's not many people that do new builds in this town that's part of our network, and we do both. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And I think they're in great hands for sure. 
uh, making three hundred thousand dollar in one deal i think it's like how can you complain on that looking back if you could change anything what would that be if you could buy time back what what are the, the some of the things that you would done differently well a lot of times what you need to do differently to make your life easier and uh maybe not make more money, but to make more money per hour is to get the right people in, in, in your team and on as quickly as possible. We've hired a new project manager for this because we've got so many projects going on. Hire the people that you need to to make your life easier, to take things off your plate that you don't need to do or you're not good at. What are you like, this is my cup of tea, this is me, what would that be? Well, I am very good. I, I've been a people person forever, so I'm very good at going and closing deals. And I'm also good at working project management parts of it. That's why I work with our contractors very closely to make sure we're getting the right pieces in at the right time when they need it, because we work with designers and, and subcontractors that have to be on, on time and on schedule. That takes a lot of skills just mm -hmm. by itself there. So, buddy, you are born and raised here in Texas. Have you lived in any other state or in any other country? No, I've just traveled to them. Just traveled to them. I like that. And uh, growing up in Texas, what are the things that you wish, uh, looking back today, that you sh that you feel like you could have had, you know, snap out of faster, or you something that you learned that you're using to be who you are today? Well, I, you know, just like anybody, when you get into some place that you want to be, like I love being in real estate and doing what I'm doing. I wish I'd have done this many years ago. And that's even right after college because I would be so much further along. And especially if I'd have met Phil and Chanoa a lot earlier. <laughs> yeah, you and me both and, that, all, and all the other investors as True. well. So. Um, do you feel like growing up, uh, did your parents did any investing? How did you even dream about becoming an investor? No, my, my parents were basically, they were both nine to five blue collar workers. So they didn't really do any investing. That wasn't part of that. But I've always had a uh, entrepreneurial spirit and I've always wanted to do things on my own and, and with the people on the things I want to do. And this is something I really love to do. So. It's just something that I, I think I would have got into this sooner or later. I wish it had been a little bit sooner, but now I'm in it and I'm doing well. And it's a, it's just a fantastic ride. Yeah. And if you could change anything or if anyone that, is, you know, is starting out regardless of their background or age, what are the things that you wish that you experienced yourself that you feel like it kind of hold you back because you didn't believe you didn't, you didn't see it or it just took you a while to, to get out of it? Well, I think a lot of that comes from not having the education because when you don't know how to do something, you need to go get that education to do it. And I think that's what really, I mean, it holds everybody back. It held me back until I took all the courses that I've done in real estate and especially with the, the network group that we're in now, that that's where the big training com comes from that's Texas specific for us that has helped make me successful. How was that transitioning uh, when you kind of quit your job and became a full-time real estate investor? The transition was actually kind of easy. And the reason it was easy is because my business partner had already, a few months before, had gotten into it. I kept the W-2 job to fund our deals as part of the thing. So when we got into it, I had actually had myself set up for success. We already had deals in the pipeline and we were going to market more and more and more. So we kept that pipeline full. and. Today, it's just, it's paid off big and that's, that's doing great. Um, how much has real estate transformed your life? Oh, it's, it's brought me where I've got a lot more flexibility. I get to travel a lot more and people think you don't, but I make a lot more money and traveling actually brings me to other places I want to buy. So that's another way to uh, increase my real estate. Who are you thank you for? Who am I thankful for? Yes. Well, besides God, that's number one. Uh, my wife has been very supportive in what I do. We've been married for almost six years now. Congratulations. And thank you. And, and also Phil and Chinoa, because I've known them so long, they've just been, uh, I mean, they've been my mentors for many years and they're always there for us. They're always there for me. I've, I've never had to worry about what I need to do because I always could call and talk to them or anybody in our network. So I'm thankful that we've got people around us that make my life easy. 
And those people does make us grow, mm-hmm. push it to our, us outside my, I, it's, it takes me outside my comfort zone. It's Definitely. chill, but every time we're outside of our comfort zone, we're still growing. And uh, yeah, the network is amazing. So for anyone that is out there, uh, do they need money to become an investor? No, you don't need money. You just have to have persistence and drive and, and you've got to want to do it. And want to do it bad enough for them to actually to take action. Right. Um, so is there anything else that you would like to say? I, I mean, just like we've talked about, it's got to be something that you want to do. And if you want to do it, take action. And to do that, get people around you like you and me and others that are in the network so that they can kind of hold you accountable and they can help you move to the other uh, out of your comfort zone while staying kind of in your comfort zone because you've got somebody watching your back. Whose life do you transform as being a real estate investor? Well, you transform your life and and a lot of lives around you because the people that invest with us make a lot more money than if they had it in the bank. The people who, that I bought their house from, they're usually making enough money to go where they wanna go or do what they need to do and get out of a bad situation. And I transform a lot of real estate investors' lives by bringing them in and working with them so that they can learn how to do what we do and make more money so they can go take trips or, or buy their wife more things or whatever they want to do and you know i like doing this because i get to give more money away to my church and others is that one of your passion to give away it is for your church i mean the more money we make the more we can give away you know you there's a lot of opportunity in this world but i can tell you for a fact that real estate provides more opportunity if you're willing to work now you do have to understand that This job isn't always easy and isn't always fun, but it will give you a lot more than most other things while giving you flexibility, especially in time of COVID that, you know, if you have to take care of kids, I mean, I take my dog to Home Depot, you know, it's okay. You know, life is good. (laughs) I really appreciate it. Uh, You taking your time today and coming Mm -hmm. in and share this amazing story and, and this amazing deal here in Austin and I really appreciate that and that uh, is there anything else that you like to say well thank you for having me Olivia it's been a, yes. a great great pleasure great fun yes uh, thank you so much for your time so I do have a little gift for you that I'd love Aww. to take you outside and uh, and saying thank you for being here today awesome let's go in Thank you. Thank you. So, buddy, this is oh, us, wow. uh, houses flipping people. You have been flipping, so congratulations. Well, thank you. And it's thank so you nice. So much for being here. I really My appreciate pleasure. your time. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, for All Star Big Dogs. Awesome. So thank you. You're welcome. So, thank you. Are you in Texas? Would you like to know the secret for having a better life? Would you like to quit your job, create a legacy for your family, become a millionaire or even a multimillionaire? Over 80% of the people here in Texas who have accomplished these goals have used the secret. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm the host for Houses Flipping People, a show that talks about the people's life who has been transformed by the secret. So what's the secret? Simple investing in real estate. In fact, it's really, really hard to become a millionaire not investing in real estate. So, would you like to become a real estate investor in Texas? If you have even the smallest interest in real estate, and of course you should, the very first thing to do is to attend a free live meeting at your local real estate investor association hosted by Texas Rias. Are you living the life that you deserve? I know I am. So can you. We meet live in Austin, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. And we also simulcast our meetings live as well. Go to the link below to see the calendar and to register to attend for free. 
Don't buy real estate retail, that's ridiculous. And don't waste your time and money going to a get-rich-quick seminar from a traveling pitch man. Come network with local Texas-based investors that are just getting started or taking it to the next level. Come join the largest real estate investor network in Texas. Do you want a better life? Do something about it. I did. We meet live in person in Austin, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. And we simulcast online if that's more convenient for you. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend for free. Come to a free local meeting to get access to wholesales, off-market deals, the finance to purchase real estate, free training, as well as the contract and contractors and other local resources that all investors need to be successful. Nearly 80% of the millionaires got there all or in part from investing in real estate. Come join us. New people are always welcome. Again, we meet live in Dallas, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend for free. I believe in working hard and, of course, playing hard and reaching my potential every single day. You don't need a lot of money to invest in real estate. You just need a little bit. You don't even need credit. What you really need is to take action right now. If you do, you really can live a better life. It worked for me and it can work for you as well. I learned how to invest in real estate from Texas Rios and so can you. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend a meeting near you, live or online, for free. And I will see you there.